Talk It Out Tuesday. And I'm going to give you guys a quote from this awesome podcaster. His name is Michael Malice. He has a show called You're Welcome. He's awesome. I like him a lot. But he said in one of his podcasts, I'll never forget, he said, I'd rather learn than win. I'd rather learn than win. And I'm like, man, that's so good because so often people are like, you need to hear what I have to say. You know what I'm like, I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Like just totally stink and just I mean, I remember hearing um, Dan Moeller say it. He says, you can be so right that you're wrong. <laughs> like that's when you act like that and you're talking like that in that situation, that's a case of that right then and there, friend. That's not okay. And I've done that in times past and I will not be found there ever, ever, ever again. I'd rather learn than win. So it's better to gain understanding, rather better to learn about the person that's in front of you and grow and understanding and being one and intimate with them and having them pour out their heart than you winning in an argument. Another thing that I want to share is correcting up. Now this really is, you heard that car in the background, but um, this has to do with children. But I really think if you think about it, it's along the same lines with everyone. Weeks ago, I, months ago, I'll say with my children, God had talked to me about correcting up. And correcting up is when I'm correcting them, I'm correct, correcting them towards him. So I'm correcting him with his perspective on how he sees them in mind, which is always good, always loving, always right. He always sees them for what he made them for and not for what they're doing. He says, if you correct your children out of frustration, out of exasperation, out of, I have had enough, how dare you continue to do this? You're not listening to me. What is going on with you? He says, that is wrong. That is selfish. That is not me. And you are not rec- you're not drawing them to me. Inside, you're not drawing them to the Christ within you if you do that. But if you correct them up, which means you're saying, hey, what you're doing right now, you're a lot more than that. You, you, you were made for this. You have to see it this way. This is why you need to see it this way. If, you're, if you continue to do this, this is not going to produce anything good. There will be no fruit coming from your behavior right now with what you're doing. This is not going to bear anything good for you in your future. And more than anything, this is not who you are. That's correcting up. And I think that same principle flows with what I just said in the very beginning. When you're talking to someone, when you're communicating with someone, when you're actually listening to them and actually sharing with them for the benefit of, you know, drawing them to Christ, you know what I'm saying? Actually, you know, bring them to who he made, like seeing them and drawing them to who he made them to be and how amazing and awesome them are, how amazing and awesome them are, merge two words. Um, you're actually saying, man, you're valuable. You you matter, you're important. And the fact that I'm giving you my full attention, I'm fully listening to you. And then when I'm responding to you, it's in that regard, it's a huge difference. So I want you all to, I want all of us, me included in this too, to breathe that in and to make sure that when we're listening to people that we're listening with a heart of man i rather learn than win that we would rather just grow in um union with him and with the person that we're speaking with and that when we're correcting our children that we're correcting them upward you know what i'm saying not from a putting down perspective ever at all all right have an amazing tuesday y'all it stands for you are loved always and i need to say this more often subscribe to the channel like it share the video leave your comments i will read them and i will respond Have an amazing Tuesday and I'll see you soon.